14 seed Raiders 67 to 60 in the first round Friday night at Fiserv Forum in Milwaukee. Badgers fans were optimistic about the team's chances in the tournament as their run got started Friday. I don't see why we can't go the whole way. Johnny Davis found a shooting touch in the second half, leading the third-seeded Badgers with 25 points as they defeated the 14th-seeded Raiders 67-60. A spectator threw a drink can onto the court after UW Stephen Crowell was called for a foul on Colgate's Jeff Woodward with 3 minutes, 33 seconds remaining in the second half. Columnist Jim polls and shares what he liked, what he didn't and what it means after the Badgers men's basketball team defeated Colgate in the first round of the NCAA tournament. TV information, potential starting lineups and things to know about the Cyclones to prepare you for the Wisconsin men's basketball team's game against Iowa State. Hear from fans of the University of Wisconsin men's basketball team outside Milwaukee's Fiserv Forum before Friday's game against Colgate. The Badgers freshman point guard was injured in UW's regular season finale but has not missed any time. UW is an 8-point favorite over Colgate and there are reasons to believe the Badgers will roll into the round of 32 in the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. But is there a path to an upset for the Raiders? Of course. University of Wisconsin player Brad Davison shares the message that former Badgers football player J.J. Watt sent to the men's basketball team B, TV information, potential starting lineups and things to know about the Raiders to prepare you for the men's basketball team's game against Colgate Colgate Avenue.